Block Productions. Divine Feminine? Do you hear that? Do you see this? That, my dear. That is your Divine Masculine. Okay? Your Divine Masculine is pissed off. Because you've left him, okay? And this masculine is coming back because he's fighting off everybody that's trying to get up in your energy. He's growling, ready to attack anyone that's coming towards you, Divine Feminine. And he know he messed up majorly. You told this masculine to stop crying over spilled milk. So instead of him crying, he's at he, he's in attack mode. You told him kick the carton out of the way and move on. He ain't moving on, and he ain't allowing you to move on. <laughs> he mad. See, he said, "I don't I don't love him. I only used him to make you jealous. It didn't work, and now I've lost you." Mm -hmm. This masculine took the bait. The ex is trying to throw negative energy your way. You need to heal your energy. Time to upgrade and evolve. I want to take you out and spend more time together. Healing crystals, sage, palo santo, and spiritual baths. They ain't stalking you no more. So this, you, you hear, this, this masculine is mad, okay? Because you're healing your energy. And while you're healing your energy, you got new suitors coming towards you, okay? And you threw back up to this masculine what, what they did, with the people they did, and how they did it. But he turning around telling you he didn't, you know, he didn't love the people. He just used them to make you jealous, and they didn't work. So now he's trying to come back and reclaim his territory. He marking his territory. <laughs> Something in, is in the closet. What about the closet? So this masculine, he's secretly watching you. <laughs> he's secretly watching you and he pissed. Okay? He's pissed by what he's seeing and he missed seeing you. He's stalking you, but he can only see you online. Okay? This is a nosy motherfucker. Okay? And he mad. Tell me more about this masculine. Why is he growling? 
because you didn't doubt yourself. You made the right decision by walking away. Because this masculine had lustful energy. And you you know not to mistake it for love. He trying to love bomb you. And see, he mad because you told him you don't want to be number one. You want to be the only one. So, this masculine is growling. Pissed off. Because, see, he wants you to, to accept the fact like that's a, 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 a high responsibility for you to be number one, motherfucker. No, you don't want to be number one. You want to be the only one. But, see, even though he know he done fucked up, he's still around your place trying to run some shit. He don't even live there, but he around there marking his territory and shit, pissing all around your house. Because he mad. He probably seen somebody trying to talk to you. He probably, this masculine get mad if he even see the mailman hold a conversation too long with you. He asking you questions. What was he talking about? Okay. The ancestors are watching over you. Jealousy. Evil eye protection. Needed. So yeah, you're going to have to protect your energy when it comes to this masculine. Because he mad like that. He sounded mad and he angry. And yes, y'all, this is for entertainment purposes. But in reality, you know, this person could really be mad at you. And they could be throwing some negative energy towards you. You may feel your car break down, things in your house breaking down, falling apart. You know, um, this is because he's sending that evil ass energy towards you. He's mad. But don't doubt yourself because you did make the right decision. And you told this masculine when you leave, don't forget to pick up your feelings. You turned on your Jasmine Sullivan. Yeah, she'll help you get over the shit real quick. Okay? This person got big ego, big pride. They're a big spender. They look down on others. And now they can't sleep. They can't eat. They missing you. Mm -hmm. That's why they're around your yard growling and shit. Somebody told them that you was preg they was pregnant by them just to break y'all up. That person lied. Now see, they see you having fun in the sun, happiness, joy, joy stability, abundance, and accessed and success and all this person can do is sit and watch you and smoke weed they thought they broke you mentally but they didn't you're taking full control of your life they don't like that it's gonna be hard to fuck over you and been there done that but they think they can come back and try to fuck over you again but see they you you done been there and done that because you know this person intentionally hurt you because they hurt their damn self. There was no equal give and take and you gave your all and they took all you gave with nothing in return. Because mm -hmm. this person is a master manipulator. So be aware of their mind game. Alright? Yeah, they stalking your social media. Checking your status. Every time you upload some shit, they looking. Because they getting karma. Mm-hmm. Some of you, this is a water sign, a Cancer, Pisces, or a Scorpio. So you need to protect your home, your space, and your energy from this person. Because they mad, okay? This is a lying, deceptive, cheating-ass narcissist. Yeah, this is the ex that you stopped wasting your time on. Why? Because they were a liar. They cheated. They were narcissists, okay? And they were deceptive. So now you reclaiming your time, you listening to Jasmine Sullivan, just like I said. Mm-hmm. And this person, they really don't have no reason to be mad at you. They mad at, they dis at them damn self. Okay? They don't know how to communicate. That's why they growling. That's why they mad. They play music and, and, and shit and hope that you can, you know, understand what they's trying to say to you. They feeling trapped. They thought you was going to be feeling trapped when it came to them. Some of you, this is an air sign. Libra, Gemini, or Aquarius. They have a side piece out there that wants your spot. So you said, let them have it. I could have did this shit on my own. You see angel numbers, 111, 11, 11. You pay attention as your ancestors trying to give you messages, Okay. They're trying to tell you to think positive at all times, okay? Because around this person, as this motherfucker is growling, you probably can't think positive. This is the dark place that you came out of that left you numb. 
So he mad. He gang stalking you. Mm-hmm. Tell him shut the fuck up. This person had multiple partners. They was cheating and all of that shit. And never thought that you was gonna get over. They sold they soul, yeah, by selling their ass. Mm-hmm. Not being serious with you. Just a squirrel trying to get a nut. This is somebody who only think about they self. Okay? So now you done put them in a spiritual, emotional, or literal jail. Okay? So since you done that, this person is spreading rumors, trying to blackmail you, or they're being they're being blackmailed. Because you're you're the queen of hearts or the king of hearts. You're very loving and caring. Listen to him. Tell him shut the fuck up. Yeah, shut the fuck up. This is a bully. And they really growling because you told them you grown and you standing the fuck up for yourself. Low vibration. Drinking drugs and paying prostitutes. Mm-hmm. Divine Feminine, how you gonna calm this man down? His name may start with the letter B. Okay? This person was doing nothing but raping your time. And they put others before you because they wanted to. And now they're bitter because you don't need them anymore. Mm-hmm. You're relaxing, chilling, taking a vacation, easing your mind. And you was a blessing to this person. Now they're coming to you empty-handed and ashamed. And they pretend that they're not proud of you, but they are secret. Now they're thinking about marriage in the future. They say they're sorry they met you when they was going through a breakup. Birds of a feather flock together, so be wise who you deal with. Okay? This person is never going to change. And that's a demon, so don't be fooled. The grass wasn't greener on the other side. You came out of this chaos and conflict when you was dealing with this person. There could have been some sort of child sacrifice and miscarriage. This person could have been dealing with the racist. Okay? And it could be a divorce on the rise for some of you. You took your keys back and you locked your house and your car. Now this person is saying they need strength. They're losing their grip. Can you please think about it? But just remember, this person has a fear of commitment. And they envy your success without them. Okay? Remember when you see them angel numbers right there. You pay attention. That's a message from the Most High God. Okay? You told this person, bitch, don't kill my vibe because she was never win. If they... they they would kill your vibe by cheating on you. Yeah, you did, motherfucker. Yeah. Where they do that at? Of course, at Karmic Lane. This person tried to take you down, but you got the last laugh. And this is nothing but a fuckboy energy. Somebody immature and in between jobs. Yeah. So tell me more about this fuckboy. They can growl all they want, huh? Huh, Divine Collector? Put it in the comments. Growl all you want, motherfucker. Cuss his ass out. Because your spirit guys is watching over you. Okay? They're telling you to tell this person no. Okay? And they have to go now. Because in the heat of the moment, they fell into temptation. And while they fell into temptation, you started creating your own happiness. Your reality, your own abundance for your own sake. This person has nothing to offer toward you. You're taking action and they're scared. Their sex was whack. Toxic love and they're trying to pull you back in but you're not going for it. This person is saying they're dis disappointed in the decisions that they made. And they're working on themselves but they're lying because that shit came out in reverse. So pay attention to the red flags and do not ignore them. You hear me, nieces and nephews? They had a female clown around them that wanted them to reject your love. They're secretly hating on your success. And this person will be reaching out to you real soon. Because Judgment Day is coming against all who did you dirty. Them and the carnival. And this is giving them a fucking tower moment. This person may try to, you know, give you an offer or give you a gift or something. But you need to check that item that you bring into your house from this person. You could have some sort of Attachment on it. You could be dealing with a Cancer Pisces or a Scorpio. Um, you could be Cancer Pisces or Scorpio. Here's a fire sign. You inspired this person secretly. A Leo, Aries, or a Sagittarius. 
And somebody is very much in their head because they failed to make a decision when it came to you. And they got too much pride to apologize. Mm -hmm. So you need to protect your energy from these false people that want to enter your space. Don't depend on their energy, their money, their time, their love. Focus on you. Earth sign, Virgo, Taurus, Capricorn. Go quickly and smoke a blunt and calm down. Okay. Keep on having your sunshine, joy, happiness, abundance. Because mm -hmm, wealth is coming to you. And you've been there and done that. And this person is watching your happiness. So fuck them haters. They hating while they watching you. And they're recruiting other haters to jump on the hater train. But you didn't get used to that toxic ass energy. You don't want none of that. So they started throwing evil eye at you. Because you don't want to get used to toxic energy. And they're mad at your abundance. They're trying to slow you down. Because they see you doing great things in your life like you bought. Okay. And this person, they dick is tragic. So pick up your feelings and move on. That's what you told them. Because you knew they wasn't shit. Somebody got a smart ass mouth always saying shut the fuck up. It is what it is. So pay attention to the red flags that this person sold their soul for money. Mm -hmm. Watch others' energy around you. You don't want to let them fool you. Because you're sitting on your, your throne looking great. And they losing sleep behind this shit. So then they started paying a practitioner. And they're watching and waiting for the results. And for some of you, this is a bisexual male that wants your person for themselves. That's a past karmic energy that's trying to reconcile. Okay? You walked away from the drama because you realized this person had a hidden agenda, motives, and manipulation, and you seen right through their lying ass. You all good because you got a big winning, jackpot, lottery wins. Mm hmm. And this putting this person in jail because you good. Okay? They chose a third party over you, and now they realize that they made a mistake and they don't know what to do. So now you're ignoring their messages, you muted their calls, and they're, you know, all in your voicemail telling you they could be your king if you let them. And they had the key to your heart, but you took the key. Okay? So you're like, this person is trying to rape your time, um, trying to make you feel violated, but they're a player. And you know it from the Himalaya. That's wanting to reconcile with you. Okay? A message that you need to listen to, that this person has never been in love before. Okay? And they're longing for you. You're longing for them. Stalking your, your energy. Watch your in, watch your surroundings. This person is saying they in love with you forever. And now they want to marry you after you stop chasing. They want to offer you marriage. Okay? True friend, indeed. You can trust this individual. There's something about sexual photos. Let them have the last word. Because just like they growling now, if they had the last word, they said some real foul shit to you. Um, you don't have to tell them what they said. You just withdraw your energy from them and don't deal with them no more. See, and now you're looking beautiful, sexy, and smart. Mm -hmm. You're saging your mirrors, closet doors. You know, you're you're protecting your energy. You know, charging your crystals and stuff, putting salt around your doors and your windows. Mm -hmm. You're balancing yourself out. See, for some of you, this person has a weakness for the same sex. So you don't need to do nothing, speak nothing, just observe and do not react. And there's a spiritual group out there that's attacking others. You forgot the last words you said before the breakup. So this is why this person is growling and angry. Because they said some real fucked up foul shit about you. They could have talked about you under your clothes. They could have talked about your family. You know, your kids, your parents, or your mama, some shit like that. And... You know, usually, you will let them back. But this time, you didn't. So they like sitting on your front porch, like a big-ass German shepherd growling and shit. Because they mad, because you ain't letting them back in. Alright, I'll see you guys in the next week. Peace out.